Okay, so Adobe just did a uh, a new update, and as usual, they throw in um, goofy little toys to uh, because they can't really go to their stockholders and go, look, this time we made it faster, which is what everybody wanted, and more stable. So they're like, well, I don't know why this stuff's not in Elements, because it's basically a little Instagram uh, filter kind of crap. I can't really see this in a real world um, <laughs> situation. But for the first time ever, they came out with an update that actually cracked me up. So here's this self-portrait of myself looking like I do. So let's go check this out. It's down here in these uh, beta ones. <laughs> They've got colorize, which I used on a black and white photo, and it just looks like what you'd expect, a crappy colorization um, of an old photo. They all just have that orange look. You can see a little demo here, but super zoom just zooms in. I'm not sure of the point of that, unless it's supposed to do something to help with the enlargement. Um, JPEG artifacts, I imagine you would need after you did that one. Photo restoration. Um, a lot of these are, if you would be interested in. Um, yeah. Depth aware, I don't know. I guess that just adds more haze and stuff. Makeup transfer. I, I really want to try. Uh, I got to see if I can find a picture of uh, of somebody that I can take their makeup off. But smart portrait. This is the, the killer here. So I turn this on and I go, you know what? I am just a little grumpy there looking. Who's going to want to hire a guy that is so grumpy looking? We should just boost the happiness up a little bit. Now, granted, there's no teeth showing or anything, right? So let's just put this at the 50%, which I know is overkill, but let's just see what we see here. I'm sure it'll look priceless. It'll change my whole portfolio and everybody will be like, David's so friendly looking. And this professional software for photos. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow I, I i look like one of those horrible goofy sidekicks that you get in fucking uh in, in far cry or something like that oh my god hey <laughs> okay so maybe you're thinking yeah well you did it 50 percent. let's just dial it down a little bit they need a laughing one because that's what i'm going to be doing using it oh Okay, that was 14%. Let me bring this. I wish I could double click on it and it would take me back, but it doesn't seem to want to do that. So let me just put it about 28%. There's a little smirk to it. A little smirk. Nothing wrong with that. All right, so let me save that one off. It'll actually let you save it so you can see the difference. Grumpy. Hi. Grumpy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. All right, let's do that again. Now that's just the, um, if you want somebody to smile, but say we want to turn this into stock photo stuff. And it's like, oh my God, I forgot your birthday. I want to send somebody a picture of my face, but I can't be surprised that I forgot their birthday or whatever. So let's get surprised. Professional surprise coming up. Here we go. <laughs> Why do they want me to be in a, in a video game? I, I'm like a Uncle in Red Dead Redemption if he had if he was bald and a little younger. <laughs> That's not surprised. Let me just dial this down. That's not surprised. All right, we'll just we'll leave it like that so we can keep keep our collection. But there doesn't seem to be a big big difference here. I like how it saves all the little faces like that, so it's just barely something there. But 
I know you guys are probably just calling clients up right now, you know, if you do any kind of work like this. And uh, you're like, hey, remember that picture you had where you didn't like that your husband looked grumpy? Well, thank you, Adobe. We've got it figured out. Now, let's say, I, I haven't turned any of these the other way. I've only gone full happiness. So what happens if I just go to the left? Does it make me crying? <laughs> would, it, would it actually add tears to my face? Or is this my expression when I see that Adobe comes out with more bloatware that I'm like, I will never use this after this video except to troll people this is like the troll tool so literally somebody could download your picture from the web okay is that i'm getting ready to cry there or what all right turn that one off that's not even worth a look what is the backward of surprise but somebody could take your picture off the web that's like mm, i'm not gonna be surprised the backwards anger is this wouldn't this just be happy they should just have what in the hell is that all right now say you know you're trying to date somebody older or you have somebody that says hey look me make me look 50 or something like that well i'm already 50 so what happens if i go and make myself like you know the, the full tilt here wow <laughs> this this is probably the best one yet. Holy moly. Is that 70? Oh my God, I'm crying here. <laughs> so, if I take it from full, you know, red woman <laughs> Game of Thrones to this way, what am I going to look? Three? Wow. Oh my God. So that's me at 18 if I was fatter, which I wasn't. And this is me at 100. I got to save that one. That one's classic. I don't know. I've never met anybody that said make me look older. Unless, I don't know. I have to find a picture of, uh, of my kid who's 12 years old. And then say, hey, let me see what you look like at 20 maybe. But I don't know if it really does that. Um, gays, I don't really understand this one. Oh, I think this just changes your eyes. So you don't like the fact that they were looking up to the side or you want them to do that. Um, what's the, uh, the meme that goes around where you always have like the person walking with one girl, but looking back over their shoulder at the other person and then you use it for like, you know, various Star Wars. So yeah, can you just look over to the left? Or can you just look over to the right? Totally natural. This is like that uncanny, uncanny valley stuff you get in video games where you're like, you wish it looked real. This is the opposite of that. Hair thickness? What? <laughs> what did they do? Did they just try to give me a flock of seagulls here? But now I just have bald patches? So what happens if I have no hair and I say, don't give me any hair? Are they going to shrink my head? Yeah. Head direction. Okay. I, I want to stop taking it to extremes because that's one, too funny, and two, most people would say they'd never do that. And it's funny because I see all the um, Adobe worshipers and they come out and they just, you know, they pick the, the easiest stock pictures to work with and show you this stuff and then you know, go, wow, look how amazing it is and how fast it is and all this stuff like that. This is a real world use. I don't know what I would do with it. Light direction? Okay, let's say I was really horrible at lighting. That just looks kind of fakey. Of course, I need a really crappy picture that's lit really bad to do it. But all right, that one, maybe I could see something. Um, feathering, blah, 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 all that stuff like that. Whatever. Makeup transfer, I really want to try because I don't have anything. What happens if I just turn on colorize when I already have a colorized image? Oh, it's just how to make yourself uh, sepia taut. Super zone. Let's get in here. Oh, I have to download this. Let's see. 
It is funny, but when you think of a professional program that you, most people just know what they're going to do and they just get in there and knock that out. Remove JPEG artifacts, sure. Enhance image detail, so it's probably going to be way sharper. And when are you going to punch in? Did it not even do it? Am I unsatisfied with the results? Nothing happened. Or is this so I can... Where's the punch in? That does not look good. Okay, so that's a bump. Photo restoration, all that other stuff, that's all in beta. This top one up here, uh, skin smoothing. I, don't, I would not want to use some automatic skin smoothing. Yeah, look at this. This is, this is going to be the new, how do we become Instagram? Sure, booth that smooth, smooth this up. Let me get my best beauty look going on here. Oh, there you go. Now you just need that eye sharpening crap. Style transfer, what the hell does that do? Adopts the appearance or visual style of a source image and helps you apply it to your own images. Oh, so you can just download somebody else's hard work off the internet and try to slap it on your own to fake their style. Okay. Yeah, this, um, this is <laughs> pretty damn funny. Hi. <laughs> See you on the next Far Cry. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys are going to use this or not, but if you do, it's probably going to be funny as hell.